the Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a Fan Bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Hey, does telling your story so that it gets heard, understood, and remembered sometimes feel like Mission Impossible? And Jerry Brown's here to help every week on the Experience Pros at this time. Jerry, welcome. What's our storytelling tip this week? Well, the tip this week is to skip the spin. Skip the spin. No, 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 Jerry. I have one of those little sit and we, spin things. Yeah, no, no. This is, you know, if you're a PR person like I am, a lot of people think that what my job is is to, is help, to spin it. Is to spin it. Right. And by that, they typically often mean, you know, kind of make things up, you know, and, and you know, make that stinky stuff, you yeah. know, that we don't want to step in or whatever. Right. To, that, then we make people believe that it smells like roses. <laughs> but um, well, it's kind of a political season. Yeah, you that, they're really that, right, they're really into that for <laughs> sure. But um, you know, we've also all had the experience, and politicians are a good example of that. But we've all had the uh, experience of listening to someone and they've they've really honed their message and they're really I mean they've got their delivery down they're so smooth and you listen to them and it all sounds perfect except you don't believe a word of it and the reason is that they're you know you probably are looking at this saying you know they're practicing spin so let me tell you what I mean by that because yeah. it's, it's important you know you're we're all entitled to have a point of view. Of course. And we're entitled to express our point of view without presenting the argument for the other side. We're also, I think, you know, we're entitled, you know, when it's appropriate, to try to sell what we sell to the rest of us. Sure. But, you know, by spin, I mean, you know, it's taking the truth and kind of fudging it or, you know, playing with it a little bit to make your story sound better than it really is mm -hmm. because you know look none of us like to be lied to or misled and that's what in my mind spin is about and if you think of your story as spinning it right you're probably playing a little fast and loose with the truth you don't the need to over exaggerate the reality yeah and you know i mean look people are either going to be interested in what you have to say are they're not, and you know, trying to twist their arm or trying to mislead them isn't going to make it better. It's kind of like ordering that thing in the mail, you know, and it comes and it looked really great when you saw it on TV or wherever you saw it and you get it and it's a piece of junk, you yeah, know. Eventually, the truth will come out exactly. and people will be disappointed. And really, then you've done far more damage than you can recover from. Oh, absolutely. Now, yeah. I, I would imagine, Jerry, in your line of work in the PR field, that uh, you then must have a strong filter on the, the the people and their stories that you decide to work with. You know, I do. And I, I, I mean, one of the things that that I like to do with any client before working with them is sit down and understand what it is they're trying to achieve, you know, what what it is that they're wanting to do. And... I believe that one of the things I owe them, whether it's a prospective client or a client that I'm working with, one of the things I owe them is my best advice, even when it's advice they might not want to hear. Now, they're the client. They can choose. But I feel like I owe them my advice, even when I say it's things that they want to hear. And one of the things I'm really um, – cautious about or one of the things I really tell people is you know if you're trying to if you're trying to make it better than it is uh, you know give it up yeah well and this is why we call you King Midas Jerry around here that's anything you touch put you know turns to gold because you do draw out the actual story you do take the time to listen to the client figure out what it is that we want to do with this is there a real story here or are we making something up and so your credibility is on the line which is why people who hire you have far more success with their their information that they, their content that they put out there so we appreciate that Absolutely. You can find more information uh, over at jerrybrownpr.com. You know, that late journalist, screenwriter, and Denver native, Gene Fowler, used to say, writing is easy. All you do is sit staring at a blank sheet of paper until drops of blood 
warm on your forehead. Keep your forehead dry and hire Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR. He'll help you write your blog posts, social media postings, articles, press releases, PowerPoint presentations, and more. And he can even edit what you've already written. Jerry Brown at jerrybrownpr.com. You can always reach Jerry at Jerry at jerrybrownpr.com or by phone at 303-594-8016. 303-594-8016. Jerry, thank you so much. Thank you. Absolutely. And now we... I also retweeted. He had a blog about that and I retweeted it. How nice is that? Yeah. Right? That's kind of what you do really well. I retweet? Yes. Yeah, because he writes the good (laughs) stuff. All I have to do is say, rinse, leather, retweet. Oh, goodness. All right. Don't go anywhere. When we return, more of the most positive business talk show in America. We're taking your questions next. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. 